Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to build a 3D printed DC motor just like the one seen here. Let's go and get started. You're going to need the following materials to construct and build your 3D printed DC motor. One 3D printed motor platform or base, one 3D printed rotor which is comprised of the shaft, armature, and commutator, about four and a half meters or yards of magnetic wire, several 32 millimeter or 1.26 inch diameter neodymium magnets, two jumper wires about seven centimeters in length. You want them trimmed back on one side about three centimeters and about one centimeter on the other side, two M4 countersink bolts and nuts, one multimeter, two alligator clip wires, a small piece of sandpaper, one DC power supply, and if you don't have a DC power supply, you can also power your motor with a nine volt battery. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go ahead and measure out about four and a half meters or yards of this magnetic wire. And this magnetic wire has a plastic coating. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove about two inches or so of this plastic coating using a small piece of sandpaper. Okay, and you're gonna to wanna to do this on both sides of your wire. So to make sure we removed the plastic coating here on our wire, we're going to test for conductivity with our multimeter. So go ahead and turn your multimeter to this beep setting here. Okay, go ahead and take your multimeter probes and place both ends on your magnetic wire. And if you remove the plastic coating on your wire, you should hear a beep. Okay, go ahead and do this for both sides of your magnetic wire. Now we're gonna start building our motor armature and commutator here. So go ahead and grab one end of your magnetic wire and if you look carefully on your commutator, you'll notice a series of holes. Determine which holes you'd like to use and go ahead and slide your magnetic wire through both of them so that it extends out about a centimeter or so past your second hole. And then go ahead and fold the wire back over about 90 degrees. So you should end up with something that looks like that. Now go ahead and start wrapping your magnetic wire around both sides of your armature. You're gonna want about 30 to 35 coils tightly wound on both sides of your armature. Go ahead and cross your wire over to the other side and repeat this process. Take the other end of your wire now and slide it through the holes of your commutator. P poke the other end through. And fold it back. Okay, your wires should be separated by 180 degrees. Once your armature is done, go ahead and set it aside. Grab your 3D printed motor platform or base here, and now we're gonna go ahead and start constructing our motor terminals and brushes. Now take your two countersink M4 bolts and place them through these two holes. Flip it over and go ahead and screw on the nuts. Now grab your two jumper wires. These jumper wires will serve as our motor brushes. Okay, go ahead now and wrap one end, the shorter end of your jumper wire, okay? And you're gonna wrap one end around the bolt here. Flip it over and with your screwdriver or hex key, go ahead and tighten it. Okay. Repeat this process on the other side for your other jumper wire. When you're done, your motor brushes should be pointing pretty much straight up and almost touching each other. Now we're going to go ahead and start placing our magnets on our motor base here. 
And please use caution when you use these magnets. They are very powerful and they can pinch you. They can literally pull your braces right off your teeth. And when you want to remove a magnet from a stack, use your thumb and just sort of slide it off there, almost like you're removing a coin from a stack. Okay, so what you want to do now is go ahead and remove two. Okay, slide one up on one side and then go ahead and put another magnet on the other side. And notice you can move your magnets up and down. Okay, and you may want to adjust this when you go to build your motor. So um, you want to get it in that optimal location. Okay, to make your motor spin as fast as you can. Go ahead and repeat this process for the other side now. Okay, and once you have your magnets in place, it's important to note that you want to make sure your magnets here attract one another or your motor will not spin. Now grab your motor armature and rotor here, and what you're going to want to do now is carefully place it right between your two metal brushes. Okay. And make sure it spins freely here. You also want to make sure your brushes are in contact with your commutator here. Now bring in your DC power supply. Take your alligator clip leads and attach them to your terminals down here. Turn on your power supply. Go ahead and give your shaft a little twist or turn. And with any luck, your DC motor will start spinning. A couple of tips to help you troubleshoot just in case your motor isn't working. Try adjusting the location of your magnets or even adding magnets. Make sure your, your DC motor brushes here are in contact with your commutator wires. Okay, try placing your magnetic wires through some different holes in your commutator. Try adjusting the voltage or amperage on your power supply. And if your motor really gets cooking, take a small paper clip here and slide it through these holes. Just to hold the shaft in place. The last thing I want to show you is how you can turn your DC motor into an actual generator. Go ahead and take your alligator clip leads and attach them to your multimeter probe. Turn your multimeter here to the smallest voltage setting. Okay, and with your fingers, just give your motor shaft a twist and watch the reading on your multimeter. And that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed building your 3D printed DC motor. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.